All right, boys. So once again, I figured I'd take a quick look at my games here with Northern, and this is really the first time that I'm able to see anything because we they positioned here phase three pop, and uh, I wasn't in view of them because we were coming. They were coming from the north. We were coming from the south. So by the limitations here in the replay, couldn't see it. But um, so our team was pushing in on them. They're taking they're taking a lot of shots out out over here towards Dusty's team, towards uh, Beast Beast team. That's team seven over here, and they're essentially a little focused on that little tunnel vision, Fred and Northern. So what happens is our team sneaks up on Skynet here. And we get a flush, but let's see what happens once that fight goes down. So that was around 18.4. We start shooting at him. Northern immediately, Twist immediately heads over. And, you know, that's your normal reaction. Like, are we able to support the team? There he goes. Skynet goes down. Uh, now he's down. Northern's heading over. And Fred, what are you doing now that your teammate's down? 18.24. Just kind of walking back and forth, standing still here. 1827, 1828, starts moving at 1829, and teammate's dead. So, like, not up here looking back at him. You know, no one's over here by a large, a wide margin. You're not on the second floor. You're in a stairwell. I wonder what you're doing for five seconds as a team snuck up behind you not supporting, not scouting, not in anywhere having an ability to shoot at someone if we were actually pushing them. So that's the first instance, but remember in the first video uh, we talked about their strategy. So again, it really doesn't head downstairs till 1832, so that's very at least five, maybe eight seconds. And when he does head downstairs, what's the team do? They go, oh, okay, based on all of our good scouting and information, we're gonna just run right back. We're not gonna take this fight. Uh, you know, it's just, that's just what happens with that. And granted, not as fishy as other ones. I could maybe believe that, that someone just got caught in between and didn't know what to do, so they stopped and opened the map and just kind of were thinking about things. But, so Skynet's toast over there. Uh, Tauti's not in a position to scout. But, as in the first video, we really looked at what they do during phase pops now player is dead here so this changes things a little bit also phase uh, five and six they end up getting into areas they can prone out they basically are proning over here and here so again when they're prone and they're hiding uh, especially as I noted twist is I also believe cheating the ability to watch any one person's movement when they are prone and can just have the map and be staring at radar the entire time figuring out where danger is coming from uh, you know, it really doesn't make it as obvious as when they are forced to reposition and are forced to think about what they have to do. So while I've been talking, this zone is about to close. So what do we do with zone closing? Uh, again, we've ran from here to there. I've never once stood up an ATC and scouted internal. And Tyler D is looking back the way. Oops. Here he is looking back the way, just holding this tiny little angle of where the squad was and he has 303 shooting at him so there's no scouting internal at all but you hear a lot of fighting and there's 40 people alive so what do you do let's just back this up real quick one more time. put the old x-ray on and we'll speed this up to two times to get to circle pop all right here we go circle pop now if you remember in the last video this is this is their strategy it's get downstairs sit in a corner, have absolutely no information, and then make a move. So phase four, we'll call it 19 minutes even, grab a little bit of ammo, and uh, sit at the door. Let's make sure I can get everyone in on this. So here's, there's Tyler. What are you doing, Fred? 19 minutes at the door, not looking anywhere. Northern back here, not looking anywhere. Okay, standing dead still. 1902, 1903. Okay, Tyler's not looking. Fred's not looking at anything. Northern's not looking at anything. 1902 is when it started. And now 1908 is when it ends. 
Northern's still not doing anything though, so he's still, all right, little WASD spam, you know, moving forward, going in a circle, because he can't be too obvious, he can't stand still the entire time. And yeah, it started about 19 minutes, we're at 1915, Northern is still here. 20 seconds in comp with 36 alive as phase four pops into phase five, and we finally decide, okay, we found a safe area. I wonder where the safe area is. This team's all the way outside. Obviously, they're going to come internal into zone. They know people are here, so they're going to obviously shoot it. Oh, I don't know. The next logical spot to scout from would be the high ground, which is, you know, right here or there. They've already seen out this way. They know that uh, Dusty's team is here, so they could come here for the next spot to scout internal. Or they might be able to come onto, like, one of these little areas, like, in this spot to just get some information. But they know our team's behind them. So, really, this is their... This is their logical option here. But what do you do when zone pops and you have the option of getting dead center, not knowing or having any way to possibly scout this? I mean, just look at this area. How the hell can you scout internally into here at phase pop, especially from where you are there with pretty much no information except for like the very little edge of this? Well, what you do I won't swear here. You open the door and you friggin' send it. 